that's the lineup that uh, Kyle Bradish is going to face. Second time he's going to uh, face primarily this lineup. Pitched the first game down in Houston. Best game of his career, at least in my estimation. Eight innings, a couple of a uh, couple of hits, and no runs. And again, went through about almost 50, over 50 percent sliders. So he's on a roll. Ten, ten consecutive starts, three runs or less, to at least earn runs or less. Jeremy Pena will start things off, batting 249, 287 on base percentage, 19 homers and 53 RBIs. That's hit in the air by Pena to center field, and Cedric Mullins will reel this in on a night where fly balls could be a bit of an adventure. This one is not. Good breaking ball there. Bradish snaps off a dandy of a curve and strikes out Diaz. Three and one, no score first inning. Bradish to Alvarez. And a swing and a tapper into the shift on the right side. Fielded by Mateo. He'll flick it on to first base. Alvarez is out. First game of this four-game series here at Camden Yards, and it is led off by Justin Verlander, the ace of this Astros staff. 25 starts, beautiful 17-3 record, that 1.78 ERA leading the American League, and he is well on his way to earning that Cy Young award. Mullins batting 260, 322 on base percentage, 14 homers, 55 runs batted in. A couple of American League All-Stars. Mullins from a year ago will punch one out to left center field, and that ball lands in. That thing just got brick walled by the wind right in front of Mauricio Debon and your Don Alvarez for a leadoff single. One two pitch grounded towards the middle Verlander let it go brilliantly because that was right to Jeremy Pena as he turns the double play with Alex Bregman the pitch by Verlander and Henderson lifts it in the left it backs up Alvarez still going back reaches up and makes the running catch couple of steps shy of the warning track as Henderson in the old ballpark configuration that might have been over the left field wall this one Alvarez runs down Kyle Bradish will have to deal with Alex Bregman. And Brinkman hits a ground ball toward the middle, and that will be taken by Mateo, who has enough arm strength to throw him out. Well, it's almost like, you know, when he plays shortstop, I mean, every play, it's like you were raised on a merry-go-round to be able to get to it out of nowhere, whirl, be able to keep your balance, know where first base is. Check this out. I mean, it's just incredible. The ability to control the lower part of his body allows him to make those throws. Seen a lot of good shortstops over the years here. So one out of nobody on for Kyle Tucker. Three and two. And Tucker will go down swinging. A sharp slider in the zone for Bradish for out number two. Here's the introduction of Trey Mancini. Two two. Strike three at the knees. So Mancini a strikeout victim as Kyle Bradish got 97 behind him. Ground ball headed up the middle and into center field. It's a base hit for Ryan Mountcastle. But on 0-2, Vavra does him in. Right center field. Mountcastle oh. thought about it. He'll go back to second. You got go. a base hit. Got to be at third base. They're two away, but two in scoring position for Rugnet Odor. He got something up. He hit it into center field, and the Orioles are on the board with one. Vavra coming home to make it two. Welcome back to the lineup. Rugnet Odor smashing out of an 0 for 15 with a two-run hit against the Cy Young favorite. Vasquez, the Astros catcher, will lead things off a 273 hitter. It's number seven. Vasquez takes a call, third strike. As Jainer Diaz got his first major league hit on Tuesday night in Tampa. And there's, there's your slider you talked about, Kevin. Here's Dubon, Astros center fielder. Here's the pitch. And that's a called strike three. A fastball on the inside corner. Bradish strikes out the side. He has K'd five in a row. Into center field, that will stop the strikeout streak, but it will not stop the perfect streak as Pena lines out to Mullins. 0-2. Oh, Just got a piece, golfed it out to third. Henderson zips it on the run. Slowly grounded to the right side, into the shift. From shallow right, Odor on to first. Another 1-2-3 inning for Kyle Bradish. How about four straight 1-2-3 innings for Kyle Bradish? 2-1. Bregman sails it shallow right center field, charging on is Stowers, and he will make the catch with Mullins in the neighborhood for the first out. And that's not going to happen here. 
right into the ship from a tail. And hit really easy. Now it's Trey Mancini, second at bat, back in his old stomping grounds. Struck out looking back in the second to end that inning. The 0 1, high bouncer to third. Fielded by Henderson. He pats the glove, tosses to first. Mancini retired. And so Trey, he is now 1 for 12 since going over to the Astros while facing the O's. Here is Christian Vasquez looking to be the first base runner of the night for the Houston Astros. Yep. Vasquez swung, strike three, punch out number seven for Bradish. And this is a ground ball to second base from Diaz to Odor to Mountcastle, two down. Mauricio Dubon. The Houston earlier this year. And on cue, Mauricio Dubon picks up the first base hit of the night, a single into left field. The Astros finally have a base runner. So Dubon's at first. Astros trail 2 nothing in the top of the sixth. The batter, Jeremy Pena. And this is hit in the air to center field. Mullins over towards the right center field gap. Calling for it is Mullins, and he steps right in front of Stowers to make the catch. Here's Santander with two down. That ball not hit hard. A little pop up in the shallow right. Diaz stays with it. He knew Tucker was coming on and had to make sure Tucker didn't take charge. Alevis makes a nice play for the final out of the inning. One, two, three inning for Justin Verlander. Diaz 0 for 2, a strikeout in the ground out. This breaking ball pass to Diving Henderson to the backhand of no. Mateo. That's just ridiculous. I mean, it's silly. He gets everything over there. There's an internal clock that he has because he knows what he has to do. He gets to it so quickly. What's this? What's this range? Now watch him get rid of it. And the accuracy and the stretch. I mean, this is a team play right here. Mountcastle's become a very good first baseman. Check that out. But it's not even close. Bragman with 21 homers this year. The 3-2, slowly grounded to the left side. Mateo has it, gathers himself, fires to first, got him! Seven scoreless for the rookie right-hander, Kyle Bradish. Trey Mancini, the batter, he has struck out and grounded out. Six pitch to Trey. It is the last one, a changeup to strike out Mancini. Strikeout number eight for Kyle Bradish. Christian Vasquez 0 for 2. The 0-2. Ground ball headed up the middle, fielded by Mateo. Across his second, throws to first. Vasquez is out, and for the second straight start against the Astros, Kyle Bradish, eight scoreless innings. This time, one hit allowed. Diaz is 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a ground out. Diaz down swinging, the ball kicks away. Rutschman fires a dart to first, out number one in the ninth. Strikeout number nine. Here's Mauricio Dubon. 3-2. He struck him out. A ridiculous slider for strikeout number 10 to put Bradish on the precipice of greatness. Pena is 0 for 3 tonight. There is a line drive base hit in the left field. Jeremy Pena with the second hit of the night will bring the tying run to the plate in a lead Miss Diaz. Eight and two thirds innings of nearly flawless baseball from Kyle Bradish. And as Felix Bautista, 14 out of 15, you know, somewhere between 99 and about 103. Saw so him hit 103 the other day. Great split. Two nothing. Orioles two outs. Top of the ninth. Pena at first. Let me's Diaz at the plate. He got him at 97, and the Orioles shut out the Astros. A two hitter. A two nothing win. Kyle Bradish delivers with eight and two thirds shutout on the night of his baseball life.